In addition to investigators saying alcohol was involved in this deadly crash, court records show that Dr. Jonathan Nakla may have been speeding. More than 24 hours after this mugshot for reckless manslaughter, Dr. Jonathan Nakla remains behind bars. These court documents revealing that Nakla was driving at an extremely high rate of speed and had to swerve to avoid another car before crashing on the I-65 service road earlier this month. The passenger in the car, 24-year-old Samantha Thomas, was killed. And it's very early on the investigation to say the fault uh, is here or there, but but certainly the evidence in this case appears to be another vehicle was in the roadway that uh, caused my client's vehicle to have to take an evasive action. Investigators say Nakla's blood alcohol level was above the legal limit. Dennis Nisley well, is representing Dr. Nakla and says he was not made aware of that. And alcohol is not a factor right now because there's no allegation in the complaint that alcohol contributed to this accident, so that's not something that we're focused on at the moment. Thomas was a student at USA's College of Medicine. According to Nakla's attorney, Thomas, the woman who was killed in the early morning crash, was a family friend, and his client is a married father of two. Dr. Nakla is a neurosurgeon at Mobile Infirmary. The hospital released a statement today calling this a terrible accident and say they trust our authorities to thoroughly investigate. Tonight, Nisley says Dr. Nakla is on leave. He did have a concussion and he's been put on some administrative leave for 14 days until that has uh, passed. Nakla's bond hearing is scheduled for tomorrow morning and depending how that plays out, he may be walking out of Metro Jail sometime tomorrow. And late word tonight from Thomas's family, they are working to create a scholarship at the University of South Alabama in Thomas's memory. We're live tonight at Metro. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.